I don't remember at all what happened last episode. Um, today, I'm going to do some more adventuring down at the bottom of the cave. And I'm going to make sure that I have enough stuff. I'm going to add a couple more pork chops. That is pork chops, right? Pork chops. And uh, let's see if there's anything else. I will not take all. I'll take about half of those torches. I probably won't need it, but still. Um, I shall wait. Do I really need to bring the flint and steel? Hmm. No. That I will be able to use the clock nicely. I will set it over here. Nice to know so that way I won't have to like do some weird stuff to avoid getting blown up. That's, I really need to fill that hole up. Yeah, I'll fix that later. And let's see. Yes. And come on. There we go. I don't know why my computer is lagging extra slow today. It hasn't been lagging much at all in the past several weeks. But I can't explain. Yeah. So I'm going to go back down to the chasms. Um, first off, I'm going to go back into that area, just to, um, that area that has all the stuff, to make sure that I have everything. And then I'm going to clear out most of the chasm over there. Um, I now remember that I was terrified to death last episode, and that was really weird, and I have no idea why that happened. Um, now that I have three pork chops instead of, like, how many I had in the last episode, I now am almost guaranteed 100% that I will not die this episode, or nearly die. Um, just to make sure that I've cleared everything out... Yes, this looks, this looks cleared. Yeah, that was cleared. A and I can now start farming obsidian. Which I'm, of course, going to do after I'm done with the, um, making of the pickaxes. Is that lava still there? Well, I need to make a bucket so I can make an infinite source of lava as well, because that would be just as important. And this is a shortcut, I believe, to the, um, that area. Okay, I know this is connected to some other part of this cave. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. No, die. There we go. There we go. I will now just go the normal way and walk instead of trying to do any other ways. That was the thing that I had to block up. And I believe I have lost my way. Great. Nope. Right back here in the main hub. Okay. Do not go back down there, unless if you are planning to find your way out quickly. Um, after wasting those several minutes, I think I am now fully ready to take on the rest of the chasm. <clears throat> I have actually been uh, doing a little bit of learning in the past couple of weeks, believe it or not. Um, I have been learning Japanese, which is a very, very fun and interesting language. Um, I love it. It's been really fun the past couple of months. Um, I cleared out all of the stuff in this bottom part. And I uh, cleared out some of this. Not all of this because, well, I honestly... Now what I wanted to do now is that I've got all this done is to clear out that third part of the chasm before I go all the way to there where all that lava is that possibly well actually I know that it doesn't connect to that other portion because I have seen the farthest point in there and it does not reach 
So, I'm now going to make a bridge. I didn't bring any blocks with me, did I? Uh, of course I didn't. This is great. Oh, by the way, uh, my skin has changed once again. I now look like a serial... Wait, I'll take this off so that way you can see. I now look like a serial killer. I don't know who this is. If you can tell me who this is, I would very much appreciate it, but... Um, right now, I have no idea who this guy is, and I would very much appreciate it if you tell me. Um, because I'd like to at least know, uh, what kind of people should the... Of course that was gravel. Of course that was gravel. Okay. Computer. Stop lagging around a chasm. That's the worst place to start lagging. Oh, no. Well. It's really weird how that works. They should change that in a, in a later version of Minecraft. I've been so used to creative mode in Minecraft. Um, it's like getting really weird to... It's, it's almost become awkward to go back to all this mining. It's really weird. It's kind of bad, too, because... Oh, I hate that noise. That is the noise that scares the living crap out of me. And now you have heard it, so now... You will... The mystery has been answered. And right up there is a lava fall and a waterfall. And what I'm probably going to do is I'm just going to clear all this middle out. I'm probably going to clear out all the stone with my um, pickaxe and get rid of the gravel with my hand because it seems to be going a lot faster. Ooh, flint. I can collect that flint and use that flint to make arrows, which would be very good. And flint? No. Can't call when I can get flint. I've already made shears. I've made a clock. I've made some, uh... Shears, flint, and steel. Oh, wow. Um... Wait. I hear something sloshing in the water. Is that a mob? Ooh, a piece of flint. I didn't see you. Ah, two waterfalls. That's nice. That is going to stay there. Actually, I might want to delete that. Oh, that's just the stuff falling in. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have this ready. Well, actually, I'm going to have the gravel ready. Oh, nice. Oh my gosh, that would have been bad. I would have been like half in water, half in lava, and no doubt I would probably die. Okay. Ah, cobblestone generators. Oh wow, I didn't know they could, have, well, they could occur naturally, duh, but I'm just saying I haven't seen one occur naturally. And I have now separated the gap. So now there's one and the other, and now I can Go and switch in between such in peace and harmony. By the way, I found out a secret to humor. No matter what you're writing, the funniest thing you can add to it is when, um, until the Fire Nation attacked. <laughs> you can all... You can always add everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked, and it'll be so funny. <laughs> I was writing an essay um, about The Hobbit, and I was going to say everything changed when Smog took control of the mountain. 
you don't know how bad. I was writing in pen and I almost wrote until the Fire Nation, ever, uh, ever since the Fire Nation attacked. It would have been really bad. I would have had to throw away the paper and rewrite it all and that would have been awful. Uh, but just there's some little uh, prescription dorkism for you. I, I am incredibly sorry that my videos have been skipping. Um, I've been, I'm still on the search for a good recorder, but I just can't really find one that's suitable for Mac that can, uh, why did I go back up here? Oh yeah, so I can make a, um, bucket. And I would like that bucket. And I'm gonna take the 64 stone because I need it. Basically, I just need it. Um, that would be three pieces of iron. And is there anything else I need to take with me? No. Cheers! And turned it into a bucket. And I will put away the two flint because I don't really need flint at the time. No, I don't. I can make arrows, but I don't have any sticks, nor do I have any feathers. And I don't have enough string either. I think I do have enough string to make a bow. It's just that I don't have the sticks nor the time. The downside about being under... I might start an underground tree farm if I find enough... If I find enough saplings, I might start an underground tree farm, which is very fun and interesting how that works. Um, especially since I have a lot of skeleton sources, I can get a lot of bone meal. And when I get all that bone meal, it'll definitely help with the creation of a couple of trees. Um, I don't know how those things work. It's weird. It's like a tree growing underground. It's just not supposed to happen. Except in like that one cavern in Brazil. I think it's in Brazil. Maybe in Chile. I don't know. It's in South America or something around South America. And it's basically like an underground forest inside of a cave. And that is so cool, yet so unnatural at the same time. It, it got there naturally. It's just that it's weird because you never would expect trees being able to grow underground. It's, it's, it's weird. It's not normal. And what's also not normal is the fact that this is still here. And that it's not, like, flowing off the other side or doing anything like that. This this water noise is really making me nervous. Okay, bucket collecteth. I have collected. And now I'm just waiting for this to die out so that way it can... And there we go. Now I can start adding torches to the place. Torch torch. Um, I think I'm going to start adding torches to the bottom. And actually, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Except I'm going to add a couple of torches to the parts above ground that I can. So that way no monsters will be able to spawn on top of me. That was a weird noise. That was like kind of half of a grass. Chasm, not chasm, cave. A, um... A cave, a chasm, uh, and some other stuff, too. Oh, I was down here. Hmm, interesting. Oh, yeah, because I wanted to dig out that emerald, and I think the shortcut to that thing is up there? I'll take that way. It looks like it would help. Ooh, iron. Actually, I will go up there, because it seems like that's the way I need to go if I want that stuff. Oh my gosh, no. No, 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 no. Take me up there. Take me up there. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. No! Oh. Great. No, that's not a cave up there. I can mine this while I can. I would like the extra iron. 
probably going to break in the next two uses. Oh no, didn't call it this time. That is a lot of water for an underground. I think that might go into a ravine. Okay, clear this up. Is cavern and ravine the same thing? Chasm and ravine, are they the same thing? Because I'm, I'm half and half. I'm not sure. I think a ravine goes, like, from above ground to below ground, and I think a chasm is, like, just purely underground. I'm not sure. Hope you can clarify that for me, because I would very much appreciate it. Oh, and in other news, I have no girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. I'm not the best at relationships. Oh, or or climbing up waterfalls. Come on, get some get some oxygen, Steve. Jeez. Um, I need to like. No 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 no. I need to find a way to use this up. Dang it. Is that not working? Jeez, that is getting obnoxious. Why can't I go up there? Well, when all else fails, use the water bucket. Now I need to put this water bucket in a place where it will not kill me. Took it back. Now, does that destroy that in the process? No, it doesn't. <laughs> in fact, it made that larger. And this doesn't lead to the place. Dang it. I could still place down a torch. I don't know. It might. It might. Actually, that is very close to the place where I think it was. That was weird. When I was underwater, I couldn't quite get rid of that weird little, um... Is that the thing else? Yep, that's that's the one. And I'm going to fall in. Great. I might want to put down a torch there to fend off the creatures of the night that are going to try to kill me. And that really hurt. <laughs> wow, I'm a wimp. Now, I can't wait to see where this leads to. Oh, great, more lava, and I'm going the upper path, because that path has to be shorter. Uh, 28 torches, I think I'll be good. And, ah, jeez, this is starting to get on my nerves. Well, not on my nerves, trying to test my nerves, really. Making me a little bit nervous. I don't know why, but for some odd reason that water, like, I guess the water was interfering with my mining capabilities? I don't know. That was weird. Like, the weirdest of the weird that I've ever experienced. And, uh, oh, I don't like the look of this. It's a huge, giant room. That leads into a bigger room. That leads into another chasm. Except this one is full of lava crap. Um, oh, redstone. Why is redstone always near lava? For goodness sake. Why is redstone always near lava? Oh my gosh. I hate it when that happens as well. Is 
Is that? No, that's the place where I dug the iron. Okay. No, no, I think there was a second path in this place. Oh, down there. Down there. Let's -a go, Wario. And that's to the same place. Iron. Okay, no Enderman. Well, there was an Enderman. Ah, iron out the wazoo. Well, actually, not out the wazoo. That'd be disgusting. Um. Oh, come on, dig. Collect. There we go. Yay. Got it. There's a lot of iron in these parts. This cave, like, is like the bounty of all things great and glorious. Um, I cannot believe that this is going as good as it has. I was expecting this cave to be somewhat short. Not ridiculously short, but short enough to where it'd be like, Oh, this was nice while it lasted. Now it doesn't exist. Uh, but now, it's like, whoa, you are much bigger than I first thought. And I did not need to say it like that. Ew. Oh, no, no, lag. Not lag, not lag. Not here. Not right in front of the giant chasm. Go. I think I'll be safe if I just drop down here. Yeah, I was right. Now I'll actually start putting up some torches down here. Now, that way is by lava, and that way is by, um, the giant possible ravine. So I'm not sure what to do. I think I'll go this way, because I think I see some light from this way. And plus, ooh, gold! Is that a lot of medicines? No, that's just a hole. there is light there. Which is kind of a good sign. So, diggy diggy my goldy goldy. Dig my grill. <laughs> I actually kind of like that. Dig my grill. It'd be cool if you could make grills in Minecraft, but I guess that kind of is called the furnace. Man, I was right, like, a bunch of episodes back when I said I'd be returning to that spot full of gold a couple more times. I was way more right than I originally thought. Now I just need to clog up this water hole. Nope, not like that. There we go. And I'll leave you there. There's where the light came from. A lava fall. Great. Yay, brightness. And it ends right there, doesn't it? Yes, it does. So I'm going to leave that be. And all I need to do, I'm going to come back there later, but right now I'm just I'm going to adventure the top if I need to adventure any more of that area. So now I'm going to go to that place that looks like it leads to the giant chasm of lava and it should be right here the here we got whoa yep this is the same giant chasm of lava for it does not look safe great this is awful well I don't know what I'm doing here our water bucket is going to get some major use. Wow, that was really useful there. That was a really nice spot to use that lava. Oh, not oh, lava, water. Ow, that hurt. And just because I know it's going to get dark if I cover up all this lava, I'm going to put down a couple of torches here where the lava... I might have breaks where the lo where some lava can flow, so that way I can have some natural lava. But 
for now, I don't want that. Um, so, this was working in creative mode, where I would just place water on top of a source of lava, and I would be able to keep that water. Nope, not in this mode. Not in survival mode. Okay. Come on. Survival mode, do something good. Yay! I, I, thought I, I thought I took it. That's weird. Apparently I didn't. There we go. Now I can... But still, I have a chance of... Yay, I have you. And just in case... Nope, there's never a vein of emerald. Never a vein of emerald. I wish sapphires and rubies existed. Because then we could make, like, an entire, like, interesting thing involving Pokemon puns. And this looks like it's going to be a very profitable chasm of jewels. Not really. That was an ember. And I love that, like, cool little fog effect. Because it makes everything, like, all mysterious and cool. Um, where can I put the next batch of lava? Probably over there. The next batch of lava. The next batch of water. It's so... Uh, here we go. I am taking this area, this lava count, out one bucket at a time. And it is feeling great, because now I can collect some of these things safely. And there is the above ground entrance. Well, not the above ground, the, the above lava level entrance. Yes, got it. This is working out really well. I'm probably going to waste all of my torches on this, but still, it was nice to do this for once. Because imagine all the obsidian I get to mine, but I don't know how deep this lava is, though. That's the only downside. And it's a little cave. Oh, no. Oh, a dungeon. A dungeon. Great. A mossy cobblestone and naturally occurring cobblestone are two signs of something we Minecraftians like to call a natural dungeon. And what a dungeon is, it's a mob spawner that will spawn a certain kind of mob uh, sometimes it'll be, uh, between spiders, zombies, um, skeletons. It can be any of the following. And they are really annoying to work with. Um, why they're called dungeons? I don't know. They're honestly more like giant, um, gladiator cockpits, something like that? I don't know. I just hope that I don't have to encounter lava in this dungeon. But I also hope that my sword can hold up. I'm just scared because I don't know what kind of dungeon this is. And here's how you defeat a dungeon. Yes. That is how you defeat a dungeon. You put, you completely surround it by torches, and then you get to take the loot. And two string, three string, five string. 
iron ingots, saddles, which I will show you what they do in a moment, cocoa beans, a bucket, four wheat, and two gum powder. Gum powder. Gun powder, I mean. And I'll take the chest as well. Yay. I want to collect a cobblestone as well. No. And when you want to finish a mob spawner and never deal with it again, you would just simply mine it. Like that. But I don't want to because I can use this for something called a, um, a mob trap or an experience machine. I call them experience machines. I don't know what you call them. And... Um, basically, I can make it to where they will constantly give me experience, which is something that is very good for um, enchanting and uh, crap that just got like 10 times larger. Um, it got 20 times larger with that. Now I got an extra 10 times larger with that, so I'm going to have to try to do something. Mob spawners, um, when in dungeons, work a little bit differently than they um, than you think they would. They have a radius to which they'll work, and when it's past that radius, that means they just won't spawn anything. And that radius is 16 blocks. So when you are within 16 blocks of a monster spawner, that means you are six, uh, when you are 16 blocks away, it'll start spawning any mob that it has um, the ability to spawn. And it just got really dark. Aha, it's ended right here. Yeah, please, I'll pick you. Now I will pick you. Mushrooms? Interesting. Mushrooms growing right here next to lava. Interesting. That is more interesting. Just this, just the spawn block appeared and it didn't flow. That's weird. And plus, I'm running out of torches. That's not good. There we go. That worked fast. Yay, it's not falling into lava. Yay. Oop. Oh, no. Lava's probably going to fall from there. I just know it. like the last remaining lava of this end of the first level of the chasm. And now uh, torch here just to make the light balance. I can make mushroom stew! Yay! I'm not sure if I had the other type of mushroom before I collected these, but I don't care. It's mushrooms. I can eat them. They can help me. I can't believe I uh, haven't lowered in hunger bar yet. I would have thought it would at least be drained by two by now. And by two, I mean like a half. And I was wondering if... How long is this cave going to last? I know that sounds like mean and impatient, but still, how long is this thing going to last? Because, like, I am going to need a break from all of this. Yay, no lava science. Lava science is a little bit different in Minecraft than it is in normal life, because lava goes under some pretty strange rules in Minecraft. What I mean by that is, when you destroy the source block for lava, there is a certain percent chance that it will, um, what is the word that I'm looking for, will keep on flowing no matter what, and there's nothing going to spawn there. 
So this is actually the end of this side without going through any of the branches. If I can find the exit without any lag, thank you. Aha, here you go. More of the fantastical mushroom. I'm gonna try to see if I can, like, like yay, I did it. Did I collect it, though? I did now. I love it when your questions are answered immediately, just by random chance. Oh! I think I didn't collect it. Let me... Yep, didn't collect it. I kind of want to find a... That's why I want to... That's why my torches decrease so fast. I'm using one right after me. And I did see a redstone there. Yay, I'm not going insane. Redstone and experience points getting me to 23. Hopefully soon. And now I will go through the other half in the next episode. Um, so in the next episode, I will be going down through this side of the cave where we will find more redstone, iron, and hopefully some more interesting stuff. See you all next time.